everybody. We are doing problem number four for Mac 1147, Spring 2012, Test 1A. So number four asks us to rationalize the denominator and simplify um, 2 minus the square root of 2 all over the square root of 3 plus 1 plus 3 times the square root of 6. Okay, and so when we rationalize something, we want to get the square roots out of the denominator. And so to do that, we multiply the denominator by its conjugate. And if we're multiplying the denominator something by something, we have to also multiply the numerator by something as well, so as not to change the whole problem. And so that's what we're going to do right now. So we do 2 minus the square root of 2 over square root of 3 plus 1. And we multiply it by the conjugate of square root of 3 plus 1. So it's going to be square root of 3 minus 1, which is the conjugate, over square root of 3 minus 1. Okay, and then we have plus our 3 over root 6. And so this, the conjugate of square root of 6 is just square root of 6. So we multiply this by square root of 6 over square root of 6. Okay, so now we just need to go through and foil this all across the numerator and then foil it all across the denominator because we're just multiplying these two together. So it's going to turn into um, 2 the first, so 2 times root 3 outside, so 2 times negative 1 minus 2 inside, so we have negative root 2 times root 3, so that's going to turn into negative root 6, and then inside, so or excuse me, last, so negative root 2 times negative 1, so that turns into positive root 2. And so that's just our numerator, so that's all over this denominator, which we do square root of 3 times square root of 3, which just gives us 3 because the square roots cancel out. Then square root of 3 times a negative 1, so negative root 3, square root of 3 times a positive 1, so plus root 3, and then positive 1 times negative 1, so minus 1. Okay, so that's what this whole term turns into this. So now we have to do the second term. So then we have 3 times square root of 6, which that's just how you write it, 3 root 6 when you multiply them together. And then the square root of 6 times the square root of 6, the square roots just cancel out, so we're just left with 6 in the bottom. Okay, and so now we can simplify this. So we can rewrite this. Um, this numerator, this first numerator, we can't change too much, but we'll be able to simplify the denominator. So it's going to be 2 square root of 3 minus 2 minus square root of 6 plus square root of 2 all over. And so we have negative root 3 plus root 3. So those two cancel out with each other. So we're left with just 3 minus 1 in the, de in the denominator. So we get 2. And then here we have 3 over 6. So this 3 is going to cancel out with this 6 and leave us with 2 in the denominator. And so then it's just plus square root of 6 over 2. And so now what we want to do to simplify this even further, because although we've rationalized it completely, we haven't finished simplifying it, um, we want to write these each as um, individual fractions instead of having these all under all over the same common denominator. Um, okay, so we have it all turns into uh, 2 square root of 3 all over 2. So we just took this 2 square root of 3 over that 2 minus this 2 over that 2, so 2 over 2, then minus square root of 6 over 2, and then plus square root of t, 2 over 2. And then we can't forget our second term, the plus square root of 6 over 2. OK. Um, and so from here, we can simplify it. So um, we have negative square root of 6 over 2 plus square root of 6 over 2. So those both cancel out with each other. And then we have this 2 square root of 3 over 2. These 2's also cancel out, cancel out each, with each other and just become 1. 
So then we were just left with square root of 3, then minus 2 over 2, which is just 1, so minus 1, and then plus square root of 2 over 2.